Hey everybody, welcome to my Let's Play for Hearts of Iron 4, Man the Guns. This is my first time playing the DLC on YouTube. I have done a playtest, however, so I know a little bit about what I'm doing, at least for the first hour or so. And this would be like, I think my, I think 10th game of, your, of Hearts of Iron 4, so I'm not really doing too hot on the experience train here, but I'll, I'll try to just go on with what I really did for Mexico here. So, Man the Guns adds in a lot of new stuff. One of them being the National Focus, which is really cool for Mexico and we're gonna try and go for the uh, the crusade against atheism we're gonna try and we're gonna, we're gonna really try and make our Aztec ancestors proud before we do that though we got a couple issues um, first things first our entire plan here is to deal with some of the decisions that happen so we have a rebellion going on that in, is basically due in large part due to uh, this man over here and usually if you want to be a Democrat and if you want to be a good boy, you go to the left and you save Mexico. But if you are like me and want a general, then well, we're just going to have to go down the national bank tree. Now, before we do this though, I just need to really quickly check this need must be one of the following assertive, powerful church. So that's really the whole point here. Mutually exclusive with callous law. All right, so how do I actually get this? Replace weak church with assertive church, all right? Hmm. If I go to the left here, it would just lead me there. So only this guy will allow me to go down the army tree. So otherwise, there's no actual option to actually get rid of general. So because of this, I will probably go with, well, first let's go with the plan, because that's always nice. And then let's go with some civilian factories. Put all of our units into one army because I feel like we don't need a lot. Yeah, you could be our field marshal. Yeah, you can. I don't know. I guess you you could do well. Our first wars will be with Guatemala as well, so this area will be primarily fortified. I mean, you know, actually, if that's the case. We'll have we'll have some on the US border, I suppose, as well. Alright, good. So that's about it for now. Uh in terms of divisions. We've got 18s. I know the um the standard is to get like 20 whiffs or, or something. I, I don't really know much. Could, oh, it costs five to remove. Okay, so we're just kind of going to be stuck like this. Ah, uh, actually, let's go to our production. Oh. Well, I mean, that kind of explains a lot. Um, Yeah, I guess we're good, actually, for the start. We don't really have a lot of Mexico, but uh, we work towards that, right? Hmm, I will get... Uh, I'll just get one infantry unit of you. All right, continue. And this is a fuel mechanic that's been added to the game as well. So, new stuff. New stuff all around. Uh, exile governments. A lot of cool shit like that. I think there's... Um, the other countries to get changes was the UK. I didn't really like the UK's changes though. I found Mexico's flavor to be better. The US has new stuff. Uh, Canada as well. In fact, you can see Canada's stuff right here actually. More fuel economy. Compromise with Quebec. Send in the zombies. What? What? What is happening in Canada? Send in the zombies. Red Deer training camp. Strengthen Commonwealth ties. Partition. Support the world revolution. Okay, it's a lot of cool stuff. I feel like not a lot of um conquest stuff actually. Good stuff. With Quebec though, that's funny. That is absolutely funny. Let's see. Interesting. Yeah, so I do think that Mexico's are definitely the coolest. Let's see everybody else's. I think maybe they're out of South American. Nope. 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 Okay, there's not a lot. Yeah, this DLC doesn't actually have a lot of content. Okay, let me go here. Well, they're just changes, so I, I don't know whether or not you think they're good or not. Jefe Maximil? Maximo? Did I get that right? I think I got that wrong, but regardless, um, 
Yeah, I think there's only like I think five. I want to say five, but I could be entirely wrong. I mean, there might be aviation, aviation, a political. Yeah, I think I think there's only like four or five new um, national focuses or foci. Infantry equipment. Do I not have? No, I'm just it's just a lot I need to produce. Do I really need you? Do I do I really I'm a big noob, so I I just if I just if there's a production line for something I don't remove it, but do I do I just get rid of the fighters? I don't know. How many fighters do I have? Do I have any? Wow. Incredible. Well, I'm producing my own fighter wing, I guess. Okay, we don't have to do any of these yet. Uh, especially since our thing isn't that powerful. Yeah. Okay. We can control the army. That will give us some base stability. Um, let me see. Yeah, if we do this, then contentions will be high. Right. So, let's see. Yeah, this would actually change it to low. So let's start on the National Bank. And then afterwards, I can actually flip and do something else. And then afterwards, I can lower it again. And then high would be uh, low. And then, yeah, another one. Yeah, that's good. So I could just, like, continuously keep flipping back and forth, actually. Nice. All right. Ethiopia usually dies to Italy. I mean, you know, it's not really the Ethiopians' fault. They just didn't have an air force. I'm granted I don't really know the full extent of what was going on at that time. Oh, maybe New Zealand has something new. I don't know if these are different or not, guys. Um, do let me know. Maori, that's pretty cool. Maori volunteers create New Zealand unit. It'd be cool if you can break away from New Zealand and form a separate Maori uh, faction or country. But it doesn't seem like that's going to be the case. Um you well, it's either that Australia is just really boring or I also can't find something else protect the homeland preemptive intervention Top of government that's great abandon Westminster systems our own empire war on Japan how about you do you have anything no Interesting. I think the Chinese ones might have something, but I'm never really familiar with this like clusterfuck that is East Asia. I don't even know like how you would even play as like one of these factions like Zibei Sanma or Zhangxi. I mean, um, actually, you know, they would be allied to Japan. Guangxi, Guangxi? Is, that, is that how you pronounce it? And obviously China. I don't, I don't, I guess China would be the easiest of the factions. We should probably um, work out. Everybody work out. No matter what, everybody has to work out. Okay. How long till we have to make the decision, actually? 46 days? Okay. That'll be finished at 35. Um, huh. Let me see. Oh, no, no, no. That'd be bad. If we don't want to ideally go for a liberalized the uh, banking sector. Or we can just get agricultural... Oh, but this this lowers it though this lowers it by quite a bit so I mean I I guess I should just go with this for now yeah that would be a good idea or actually yeah I can just do that way for high yeah that way I'm at least um spinning up inside tensions well I feel like I don't need to do that yet yeah we're just gonna be playing on speed five I hope you guys enjoy uh, years going by of us doing absolutely nothing, but there is uh, that to really look forward to in this. How is there? Yeah. Go ahead and get a factory. That would be ideal. Fence or decisions. I can't do anything. I have to just uh, let it go. We're gonna take a two stab hit, but that's okay because that's why we have these uh, these situations here. Okay, so we want a assertive church, so we'll go with that. So now we have more church power. Uh, we can nationalize uh, church lands or, 
you know, eventually attend public mass would be really the way we move forward. Hmm. Okay. So yeah, let's take the two stability head, actually. How else, oh, what else should we do as Mexico? It's very, very interested to see. Uh, we can't really fabricate because we could re request a license production. Okay, I have both of these. Yeah, I'm, I don't know. I guess I could improve. Really, that would just be a waste of political power, honestly. I've never seen the AI attack a random nation like this, like Spanish. Like Mexico gets attacked by America. I've never seen that. Isn't it because... uh? Democracies can't declare like offensive wars or something. Oh, okay. Okay, gotcha. So what's going on here? Alright, so that's good. Moderate to high, so we're still like up and up. We can just keep going and go down right here. Or we could get that. You know what? I think we have to deal with the e the evil dissident, the um, the general here. This just allows me to just speed five all the way through. I mean, this is how this is how paradox envisioned this game to be played on. Let's uh let's look at other stuff while this doesn't happen. They haven't even added stuff to Iran yet. Wow. I wonder if there's going to be expansion where they finally, like, work on this area. Yeah, look at this. whole region has, like, nothing. Oh, man. Oh, right. They're UK. Yeah, actually, let me go to UK really quick. Yeah, so you can go to war with Japan, China, um, Imperial Federation. United Kingdom will be known as the Commonwealth of Nations. Interesting. That is interesting. Decolonialization, eh, decolonization, that's disgusting. Yeah, I just want to see some more stuff here. Spirit of the revolution, liberate the home of Marx, that's good. Crush the dream. Good. The games are concluded. Nice. Yeah, I, I guess I like the Imperial Federation. Mostly because this is just badass art. This is absolutely badass art. We should use our political power for something. So first and foremost, we're going to get this guy. Actually, we're going to need to get fascism because fascism is actually what the uh, religious one is. That's the thing. Like, this is so cool. I didn't see crusade against atheism at all. That is so funny. And come on. This, this empire... That's what I'm talking about. What else? What else can we do? Um, yeah, sure. That'd be nice. Anything for army? Is that even? Does that even matter? Actually, huh? Eh, why not? Seems good enough, actually. Look at all those points we're getting. We can actually remove or add a add a, uh, a division. Do want to get an even twenty? So maybe we'll 
just save like that. And yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be a major L actually. We'll need a lot more equipment. Yep, three thousand. Ooh. Building like seven a day, which you know, actually I'm impressed that we're building seven a day at this point. Ooh, actually. Well it doesn't matter now, actually. Cause that's gonna be you know what? No, 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 no. I would like to get that instead of concentrated industry. I don't think the US is gonna kill us. But they might. Oh. Well don't worry, privatization will fix out our rebellious general's issue. Oh, it won't actually. In fact, will this be a problem? No, no, no. It's just gonna be moderate. Never mind. Chief of Army? Alright, well, I guess I'll. Well, what does this guy even do? 10% division attack? Huh. I don't know if I'm uh, I'm okay with that. But regardless, we'll get the repeal callous law. And then afterwards it's still time for religion. The Legion of Christ. After I saw that I was like, no, I, I've already picked my faction. It's Mexico. So as you can see by this graph here, we're producing nothing. I mean, really, seven a day is a drop in the bucket. I kind of want to cancel this, but its production efficiency is so good. Even though I'm, if I've only built, I only have like 36 of them. It would be useful against El Salvador, and Guatemala, and um, Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, uh, Colombia, definitely. I, I don't know if any of these places have air forces. You see, I'm like Chad over here. Look, I got as much airplanes as Brazil. I can fuck up Brazil easy. Jesus, Argentina, calm down. It's a shame that Mexico is the only South American country with even any ideas. Um, yeah, why not? Now, what are we doing here? We do need a military budget change. Hmm. I'm not getting anything like in terms of like extra factories or whatever. Oh, there's some civilian factories, I guess. I'm gonna pick nationalized oil fields actually. It's probably something that every nation would want to do. Ooh, the radio, that sounds important. Director fire. Yeah, some things on Tech Tree are different, but some of them are just eh, just kind of the same old. Let's see if we can find any others. Nope. No, seems like everything's the same. I wonder what we're going to pick. Maybe Mass Assault? I don't really have a lot of things, but I have bodies. What's our trade looking like? We have oil, we have tungsten, steel. Oh, the land of the plenty. Look at this, Mexico. Your biggest failure, losing Texas. Yeah, I do. I do want to get industry fast. That would be nice. What else can we get? We can get smooth talker. A smooth talker, eh? Well, actually, damn. I don't know. Maybe I'm just saving my PP right now. But uh, 
don't really need too much. I'm gonna probably attend mass like over and over with my some of my PP. I just like calling you PP. <laughs> That's good. All right, we supported him. And let's repeal. And after we repeal, we can unlock a decision to uh, actually transfer the lands to the church. So we're just we're gonna we're gonna fuck shit up. Rewrite the Constitution and then the Legion of Christ. And then actually here we can start like a Catholic state at this point. And yeah, this is where we'll have to switch over to fascism. What do I get for this? I get more base stability. Not enough equipment. Yeah, I feel you. I really do feel you. What else? Did we unlock anything? Nah, we didn't really unlock anything. We're not really getting any tech to justify it as well. Yeah, this is actually the best thing we could have gotten. Industrial concern. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. Synthetics would probably be the best option for us considering we are trying to do fascism and we're not going to be trading with the United States anymore. What kind of trade do we got down here? I mean, all the resources I'll ever need are in South America. There's a lot of South Americans I gotta kill from the looks of it. Alright, let's go ahead and do that. Transfer. So now we're going to get the Catholic state set up. What else can we get? If I had more research, I probably would have... I would be better off. You know, actually, what we should do is... Yeah, what we should do is probably at this point stop. And then afterwards, um, I don't know, go for strike breaking and get the research slot. Because it's not like there's any, like, warfare or anything. Oh! I did forget about this. When you have the Catholic state, people don't like that. And there's a, there's a, I don't know, there's a revolt. So I, god damn, we have to get rid of it now. Here, uh, we're just gonna have to nationalize church lands. Which will actually instead make this like um like powerful estate yeah powerful church instead of a church a catholic state so we'll wait we'll wait and then we'll have a, a civil war obviously this type of mistaking is or mistake making is literally what we have all these pp for Your ship purges. Maybe I should have done this first. But that that mission with the Mexican general was gonna get worse and worse. Um, shoot. We're facing off against a lot of jungle, so I don't know what would be the best use of. We're gonna use a lot of infantry for the looks of it. Yeah, we're definitely not using superior firepower or mobile warfare. Just get it. Kinda knew I was always gonna get it. What's happening over here? There's a Japanese beatdown over here. Yeah, they're, they're gonna kick some butt. 
Either that or they're just gonna lose. Uh, what else do we have? Below sized army. Uh, that's bad. Oh, concessions. That's bad. That's actually real bad, the oil concessions. We do probably need more stability. Let's try and get some stability, actually. We can also do that. We can also do that as well. That'll just support us overall. Part, yeah, just get some stability. Probably don't need some war support right now as we're not really getting into any wars. We'll cross that bridge when we definitely reach it, of course. Ah, oh, my war factory, my civilian factory production is quite bad. Oh, actually. To get the speediest construction with the infrastructure. Yeah, this will have now more infrastructure, so that's good. That's good. Uh, inside tensions, I don't need to do that. I'm telling you, they need a speed six setting for uh, this game, definitely. Ooh, Japan made a naval landing, attacked some China, and they're just they're just eating away at some Chinese territory here. Yeah, this will be a Japanese wind, I'd say. I'm no expert though, definitely. Um, with a powerful. Ooh, yeah. Let's go with assertive church then. Uh, we'll probably still be able to actually switch on over to the Legion of Christ and then. The crusade against uh, atheism later on. Come on, buddy. We're actually look at that. We're, look at that. We just need a thousand more guns. Well, two thousand guns, really. One thousand eight hundred guns, and then we'll be fine. Yep. There goes um, more Chinese territory. Maybe they can push them back. Who knows? Maybe they'll just retreat to the mountains and then Japan will be like, wow, China's big. Ooh, a little bit of lag. I felt it deep within my system. Yeah, that's fine. Look at this. Look at this. If we get more stability, we can get more factory output. Isn't that incredible? Wow, we have enough fuel for 390 days. Oh, wow. Oh, it's going down. It's going down quite fast. Do I even have any motorized vehicles? I have close air support. I guess that counts. Uh, we can get a fuel silo. This would increase our fuel capacity by 100. Hmm. I guess we should wait a little bit. We don't need fuel as of right now. It's stockpiled. Hey, a nationalist Spain. And we've got one more research slot. That'd be nice. That'd be actually really nice. Probably at that point we nationalize and political militias. Might have to be the case, actually. But we should go for Eco more. Yeah, because I could just do nationalized oil fields, get the Norfolk steel plants, get more engineering. Yeah, I could, I could get an engineering store uh, school easy. actually get a lot of research actually holy cow we do need to catch up is really the the big thing here hmm. 
No, we don't need to do anything as of yet. How's our political situation going? Well, I suppose we could still stay unaligned for now, I guess. And this actually does end our first part. So thank you guys for watching. And, you know, in the next part, you'll see the, the creation of our, maybe our Catholic state.